Hello friends, welcome back to the my channel. Today we are going to discuss the next step, next part of that uh, properties of pure substance. In previous lecture, we go through the formation of steam. Okay, when initially water at minus 10 degrees Celsius to the superheated region, what are the stages which consist of when water in single phase, water in two phase. Also we discuss the concept of sensible heat, concept of latent heat, how it is notified. Okay, what is mean by HI, what is mean by HIF, okay, HF, HFG. Like that, we go through the, my previous video in description. I also share this link. Then and then we go through this video. Others we can't understood. Okay, in previous video, we discuss the various steps from A to B, B to C, C to D, D to N, E to F. Okay, now the remaining the rest of the topic, I only focus when the water at initially at 0 degree Celsius. Okay, so we remember this graph only from C to D, D to E and the E to F. Okay. When the water at minus 0 degree Celsius in a liquid form. So, the when we heat the water from 0 to 100 degree Celsius. Now, hold the process under 1 bar pressure. Okay. So, I use the words the 100 degree Celsius, 0 degree Celsius. Okay. When we heat 0 to 100 degree Celsius, the single phase, the sensible heat. Okay. And you know that the enthalpy is generated by H. And at suffix there is single word F, okay, that is a sensible heat of water. Okay, from B to C, there is a your pressure of water starts at 100 degrees Celsius, okay. And we know that at constant temperature, the your pressure of water is carried out, okay, 100 degrees Celsius, the your pressure of water takes place. So, it is the B to C, okay, this is a latent heat, HFG. And after point D, okay, I wrote down the point C purposefully here. The B to D is the wet region, okay. And after D, okay, it is C, E, okay. After D to E, it is the superheated region that is the sensible heat of superheated steam. That heat we can measure, and that heat we can't measure. That is the latent heat. Okay. In this video, we are going to cover the how to calculate the properties of water. First property in this video, I am going to discuss the property is the enthalpy. Okay. In this topic, we are going to discuss the three properties of water. First one is the Enthalpy, volume, and last one is the third property is the entropy. Okay, in this today's lecture, we calculate the property of enthalpy. So, first find out the value of HF. Okay, how to calculate HF? Now, told me H stands for enthalpy and suffix F it is a fluid. So, I also given one hint when that suffix is a single word, it is the sensible heat. So, how to calculate the sensible heat? Okay, if you see this figure. HF, we know that the heat is sensible and the whole process is carried out under one bar pressure. And we know the basic fundamental formula of isobaric process, the addition of heat is carried out constant pressure. The formula is MCP delta T. Okay, where CP is the specific heat of water. So I write as a CPW here. The specific heat of water is 4.187 and also this value can be get directly get from the steam table. So first we calculate the enthalpy property for the when initially water at the single phase. So sensible heat of water or the specific enthalpy of water. Why is the word used specific? Because the whole the process I will study the all the properties for 1 kg of water. Okay now see point D. We call it point D. We know that at point D the steam is completely dry. So, it is the HG. It is a notified as a HG. Enthalpy of dry steam. Specific enthalpy of dry steam. Now, see here. For reaching point D. Initial water. To heat the water up to when it becomes dry. Okay. We need to supply two kind of heat. First, we see here. First one is the HF. And another one is the HFG. So, what amount of heat added HF plus HFG. Then and then we can achieve this state. That is the enthalpy of dry steam. So, formula becomes HF plus HFG. So, HF is the sensible heat of water and HFG is the latent heat of your operation of water. Okay, is latent. Why is latent heat? Is that suffix two words, the two phase, fluid and gas, liquid plus vapor like that. So, when while reaching the point D, when they ask the exam, calculate HG of dry steam, we first put the value of HF plus HFG. Now, it is a very important term. 
Now the steam in between the B to D. Okay, in that region, if you see in that region is the wet region. Okay, so find out the enthalpy of wet steam. How to calculate? So I write the formula enthalpy of wet steam. So by according to this formula, while reaching the point C, we need to add heat here, HF. We initially need HF plus addition of heat in between B to C. Okay, so addition of heat from I write as a BC. So we know that how to calculate now HF C here. This is the wet region. Okay, and we and that diagram I show this point C is near to D. So what it indicates, the steam is almost dry. Okay, if this point is near to B. Okay, the dry steam is very less. The content dry steam is very less. Okay, so there is one term is very important introduced in this formula. The dryness fraction is denoted by x. This word, this formula indicates the quality of steam. It indicates what amount of dry steam contain in one kg of wet steam. See here, we see the definition. Okay, friends. Before going to the formula, we no need to understand what is the concept of dryness fraction or the quality of steam. Okay, this is the term dryness fraction is related with the wet steam, which gives an indication regarding the dryness of steam. Means that in between that B to D, okay, where is the point C? How to find out this? Which is indicated by the dryness fraction, which indicates steam quality of steam. How much steam is dry? Okay, its values varies from zero to one. Okay, when it is zero, the dryness fraction is zero. Dry steam contains zero, means whole steam is now in liquid form. Okay, is just try to evaporate. Just need. Okay, when dryness fraction zero means at point B is now is still liquid state. After addition of heat, it starts to evaporate, and when to going to add heat, 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 that dryness fraction going to increases, increases, and it at D is completely dry. So x is equal to one. So x value of x is varies from zero to one, like point one, point two, point three, like that. At point C is now is around point nine. So it indicates the quality of steam is good. Okay, is now at point near to the B suppose point two. And at point C is the point nine. So which one is the steam is better? Point nine because the dryness fraction is more. So so how to calculate the enthalpy of wet steam? See here, HF x into HFG. Okay. See enthalpy of wet steam HF plus x into HFG, and that x indicates the position of that point. Okay. If you see on the TH graph, that x value indicates where is the point C. Okay, in this numerical, in this graph, the points is around point eight or point nine. So x is they in given in the exam or the numerical. Okay, then how to calculate? We also see later HFG, the latent heat or the operation of heat. You can directly calculate from the steam table. HF is also calculated by formula MCP delta T or steam table. Now the last formula, the enthalpy of Superheated steam. How to calculate the enthalpy of superheated steam? See here, the specific enthalpy of superheated steam. H sup is equal to for reaching the point H sup. Okay, we need first add the enthalpy of total heat for dry steam plus heat for superheated steam. Okay, so the formula is H G plus M C P S delta T. See here, M C P S. CP is very important. Okay, it indicates specific heat of superheated steam and the change in temperature. That is T sup minus T sat. See here. Now, now how we calculate the state for superheated steam for reaching this region in D to E? Initially, we need to add HF, HFG, and that total heat we know that up to point D we know that up to point D we know that HG that is. HF plus HFG. Now reaching at superheated steam, initially we need to add first HG plus additional heat. Okay, 
and that additional heat is nothing but in D2E, if we see that D2E, that is a sensible heat and we can measure or we can calculate. Similarly, like A to B, that heat can be measure or calculate. So, for D2E is nothing but simply it is sensible heat. And how to calculate the sensible heat? Hg plus Mcp delta T. But where Cp for the calculating superheated steam, Cp is the specific heat of superheated steam. Cps always remember and delta T is T sup minus T sat. So super T minus saturation steam. Remember how to remember this for getting super steam. We add first Hg plus additional heat and with that heat we measurable. So it is a formula is Hg plus Mcp delta T. M is 1 kg Cp for super steam Cps. Take value of Cps specific heat superheated steam and the delta T the change in temperature T sup minus T set okay in this link we also add uh, give you notes for this particular point okay and also go through the, my previous video hopes you understood the concept of now how to calculate the sensibility of water how to calculate sensibility of or latitude of dry steam enthalpy of wet steam enthalpy of dry steam and enthalpy of superheated steam in short just go through the all the formulas okay just conclude i conclude here this today's lecture hf cpw into t set okay if you see mcp delta t mass of water is 1 kg and initially we are taking water always at 0 degree celsius okay so it is 0 so formula is 4.2 into t set this is latent heat of water or enthalpy of water for enthalpy of wet steam hf plus x into hfg and the enthalpy of dry steam, we know that the value of dry steam x is 1. So formula enthalpy of dry steam becomes Hg is equal to Hf plus Hfg. If we say the word enthalpy of wet steam, the dryness fraction values come in picture. Okay, in, in between 0 to 1. Okay, if you give 1 is a dry steam. Or in between 0 0.2 0 0.4, it is the enthalpy of wet steam. And the enthalpy of superheated steam we add heat up to dry steam plus that heat can be sensed. So MCPS delta T like that. These notes I also attach in this my description. If you like this video, okay, please share, subscribe and like. Thank you very much.